For the first time in 11 years, the 56-player draw in Montreal had produced a final featuring the top two seeds. Novak Djokovic, the world's finest player, up against Andy Murray. The Brits set to move up to number two in the ATP rankings the following week. A thrilling contest in prospect. The last time Murray had beaten Djokovic was when he claimed his Wimbledon title two years ago. The worrying run, a mental block as much as anything. It wasn't long before the battle lines were drawn in the fourth game. The Djokovic serve was under pressure. This time he converts. Murray in charge of this opening set in Montreal. In game seven though, Djokovic found a response. Oh, such a good point from Djokovic. It's incredible tennis. And with the Serbs serving to stay in the set, Murray struck again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andy Murray's halfway there. It was a good opening set of tennis from the second seed. As you would expect, though, there was a champion's response at the beginning of the second set. Great return. Very little Murray could do. I thought he dealt with the half volley really well. Didn't give Djokovic too much of an angle to play with. Murray a break behind, but he did all he could to get the set back on level terms. He knew exactly what he was going to do with the first volley. As soon as he hit the approach shot, Whereas Djokovic favours rolling that one to central or cross court, getting it lower than the height of the net. So that means this volley is absolutely perfect. Djokovic, though, would break again and was on the verge of levelling the match. There it is. We are heading into a decider in Montreal. The supreme standard of tennis was maintained into the decider. Oh, what a shot and what vision from Djokovic there. Murray has finished poorly on his recent losses to Djokovic, but on this occasion it was the Scot who struck first in set three. This time he converts wonderful points from Andy Murray. And what a start to this deciding set. The number two seed was inching closer to a first win over the Serb in two years. Oh, what a volley. Djokovic couldn't have done any more with the attempted pass there. The fifth game was critical. Murray would face six break points. It's a good second serve. You're doing him a disservice there, Lee. It was an outstanding <laughs> serve. I mean, a lot of work on it. Really kicked off the court like a mule. But a memorable and rare victory over the world number one was inching closer, and Murray was beginning to enjoy himself. Oh, he's done him. What a shot. You've got to love the tactic there. Great awareness from Murray. After five championship points had been and gone, then came the sixth. Murray is the champion in Montreal. Finally beats the world number one. His first victory over Novak Djokovic for more than two years, and his first in nine attempts. You know, Novak obviously is at, at his, his peak just now. He played great last year, and this year he's also been fantastic, whereas last year for me, when I was coming back from the surgery, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't able to compete with the best players, and um, it's taken me a long time to get back to this level. And, you know, this year I've had a lot of close matches with them, not managed to get it. So, you know, it's obviously nice to, to be able to get a win. An incredible match to finish, an incredible week of tennis. Andy Murray, the 2015 Rogers Cup champion, and looking in top form as the ATP Tour heads south to Cincinnati.